Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here. Uh, in this video today, I'm going to go through uh, the top 12 sort of customizable WordPress themes or page builders uh, in 2020. So basically, what we're looking at here is if you're looking to customize your website, you don't want to hire a web designer, you don't want to code it. The idea behind at least the majority of these themes and page builders is that you can do it very easily, easily and visually with their software. So I'm going to get stuck into it. Uh, basically, I'm going to tell you about the first theme I recommend. Definitely the theme I recommend the most is the Divi theme. Now this is a theme I've used to build over hundred websites in my web design business. And it just continues to get easier all the time. And what I've actually done in the past, I used to build using uh, another theme which required a lot of coding. And uh, even though it was still good, when I made the switch to Divi, I was making websites in a fraction of the time. As you can see here, you've got a lot of customizable features in this little animation here. Uh, it just makes it very easy to customize your page uh, and get the look you want. Now, the other cool thing about Divi is it's not just about a page builder where you can customize your page. You can go and use their new theme builder and completely customize the entire look of the theme. That, that be the header, the footer, you can apply it to different areas of the site, not just blanket it over the whole site, although that is an option also. You can basically take control of your site either in the most generalist of ways or really specifically throughout. So this is definitely my top recommendation. In my opinion, the most powerful WordPress theme on the market and the most powerful builder out there is the Divi theme, the Divi page builder. So definitely check that one out. If you wanna have a look, there's a link in the description below. Um, you can try it out. If you go to that website, you can watch this little cell, little video here, which shows you, uh, gives you a bit of rundown on how it works, or you can simply go to this button and try it for free. So I do recommend if you've got some time, head to the Divi Elegant Themes website using the link below and uh, try out the builder for yourself. Uh, it'll take you through when you can have a bit of a play. Now the next theme is actually just by extension. It is actually similar to the Divi theme, so I'll just touch on it quickly. It's called the Extra Theme. So the Extra Theme is also by Elegant Themes and is very similar to the Divi theme. I won't spend much time on this one. The main difference is it's built for magazine style layout. So you get this option to create these really diverse sort of like news blog pages. So if you're talking about a variety of topics and you need to break things up on your site, Extra is a really powerful theme for making that happen or creating a new site. So those are my first two recommendations, be the Divi theme and the Extra theme. If you buy one, you get the other very powerful uh, at the moment, I believe it's about $89 and it's just uh, allows you to put it on unlimited websites. So those two themes are very powerful, definitely my top recommendation in this video so far. Okay, now my third theme I'm gonna go through is actually called Focus. Now Focus is uh, actually built off what was once the probably the premier WordPress theme out there, which was the Thesis theme. Now the Thesis theme, uh, Focus is kind of like a bit of a step up from the thesis theme as it is basically got most of the same options but a few little extras. But um, to cut, cut to the guts of it, the reason I've started with this one early is actually it is probably the most unique on this list in that it's primarily aimed at people who can do coding and CSS. So I won't spend a hell of a lot of time on it. Although you can make basic customizations just through the interface, which uh, this video will actually sort of walk you through. Um, the whole idea is that you build templates and apply them to your page. So you come in here, you add a section, which might be your header. You can then actually click open this header and then rearrange things a little bit, um, just like you see here. And you actually have these modules you pop in there, such as the page content, featured image. And the idea is these act like sort of like little divs and things that you can add uh, sort of classes and titles to, if you understand what I'm talking about, and then go back to your CSS uh, and actually code it to look the way you want. So if you're actually someone who's looking for a theme where you can, where you can uh, get a lot of time coding, uh, which most people in this popping watch this video probably won't be. Uh, focus is definitely a way to go. Um, like I said, there's a link in the description below, but it's great because if you understand how to code, then the theme you create will be incredibly lightweight and uh, SEO optimized. So the performance of this theme is actually great. It's just not as easy to customize. So that's why I thought I'd put this one out there nice and early, get it over and done with is the focus theme because some of you may be looking for just a theme, a theme just like this one, uh, but most of us are probably gonna be looking at something else. So we'll continue on to the next theme. And the next theme, of course, is the Ultra Theme by Themify. Now, uh, the Ultra Theme, it's not just the theme itself, but the fact that it uses the Themify Builder. It's another powerful um, sort of uh, theme and plugin combination, although um, basically uh, Ultra is designed to work 
sort of seamlessly with the Themeify Builder. And the way it works also is you get a whole bunch of these layouts with the theme uh, and that you can use on the Builder and you can sort of customize these to how you want or you can actually build from scratch. Now there are a few cool add-ons that come with this theme that uh, aren't with the Builder, but um, yeah, you do get a whole bunch of layouts and other bits and pieces you can work with. But if you're talking about the Builder itself, we'll just tab across. This is the Themeify Builder. And it is basically, like most other um, builders out there, you can play around in the back end and basically set things up using kind of the same as a lot of other things where you're adding in columns. So you're adding in like rows and columns. And then, of course, you have the desktop, tablet, and mobile options, just like a lot of other themes, similar to Divi and uh, Elementor, that sort of thing, where you can actually set in different sort of st structures on your page, add in different parts of the layout and modules, and... Um, choose animation styles and that sort of thing. So that's the Themify Builder combined with the Ultra theme. That's our uh, third choice. A very powerful theme. Qu probably not quite as popular as some of the others on this list, but uh, another one worth checking out. And uh, you can actually try out the, the Builder for free if you want to. So the plugin itself is free, but it just comes with the basics. If you want the extra add-ons, you have to pay for them or buy a theme which has the add-ons added to it. So this is kind of like a freemium model where you... Get the free builder, but if you want to add in a lot of the cool bits and pieces that you'd like to use, it's generally going to be a little bit extra to do that. Okay, so the next theme I'm going to look at is the iThemes Builder. Now, this one is just a little bit different again. So a lot of the themes on, the list, on this list are going to be very similar, but the actual iThemes Builder is a little bit different in the sense that it is easy to use like the others, but it's a little bit more trimmed down and basic. So if you're someone who uh, doesn't want the complexities of a theme that has all the bells and whistles, you just want to have some basic control over your layout, choose some fonts and colors, the Builder theme is quite powerful for that because... It's just nice and simple. Now, I don't know if you can see this here. I've actually used this in the past where I've actually got a video uh, somewhere on this YouTube channel going through the iThemes Builder, just like I do with the Divi themes. And you can see here, you simply change the order of things around, your column structure. Uh, it's a bit hard to really see here, but uh, you can sort of stack things the way you want, move them around, and uh, there's a few options within each of those modules to get it looking the way you want. The other thing too is that you do get the uh, some builder layouts and themes that, you, that come with it. Like most of the other customizable themes and builders you do get some layouts that you can customize as well so if you're looking for something incredibly basic that's easy to use and it's not sort of bombarding you with too many options the builder uh, theme by iThemes is a really powerful one uh, nice and easy to use uh, another one you can check out and uh, yeah that, the link for that is in the description as well and uh, so I'll move on to the next theme Okay, now our next theme is actually the X theme. Now, uh, I've got a bit of a font issue on my computer, which, but uh, basically the X theme is, uh, it was once called by many to, the, to be the best WordPress theme ever made. But uh, to be honest, I personally am not a huge fan of it, but a lot of people do love it. But uh, it's a customizable theme as well. They've uh, introduced some new options here. And as you can see, they've also got uh, the similar kind of layout. We can add in a column and row structure and add in certain elements to each site. Now, uh, I haven't had a lot of experience with this theme personally, but I do I read a lot of good things about it from the people who do enjoy using it. However, I do think it can be a little complex. I've, I've sort of got lost in it a little bit using it in the past, but perhaps with a little more time, I'd be able to adjust. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's definitely a theme worth mentioning, even though I personally prefer other themes on this list, you may simply find this one works better for you. And as usual, if you want to check it out, um, head to this page here, uh, link is in the description, and um, have a look for yourself and see what you think, and uh, we'll go from there. So our next theme is the Ultimatum theme. Now, it's uh, another basically drag and drop uh, builder type thing. As you can see here in this little animation, it's uh, it's a much simpler layout. Instead of using, say, a visual builder, it's just a nice little drag and drop section in the back end of your site. You can choose uh, how things are basically laid out, and you can just simply add your modules in from the right and uh, style from there. Now, obviously, it's not just about, it's not just like that, but uh, it uh, has a drag and drop page builder, has a theme builder, has a few options there, as well as uh, the ability to style. It does give you a lot of options and uh, a lot of control. So the ultimatum uh, builder could be something you're looking for. My suggestion, especially with a lot of these themes, is to go into the pages and check out a few videos or go onto YouTube, check out a few videos because you might find certain themes, while they all do the, a similar sort of job at the core, 
checking how they work, whatever makes sense to you the, the most is what's going to work. So the ultimatum theme is another uh, builder which is very similar to the others on this list, but the way it's sort of configured is a little bit different. This is a much simpler layout with, it's very similar to the standard WordPress editor with your content in the main body area. Um, some information on the right, such as your modules. Uh, could be a bit, a bit easier to use if you're not quite as savvy. So definitely check that one out. Ultimatum, uh, link is in the description below. Now, of course, this list wouldn't be complete without mentioning Elementor. Now, Elementor is one of probably, it's probably the most popular, if not one of the most popular uh, theme uh, page builders pretty much on the internet today. Uh, it's just got so many options and uh, it's just a really well put together builder. You can see in this little section here that it's very visual. You simply can add in the areas into your site from the left here and you get a visual preview on the right. So that way you can see exactly what you're getting as you're editing your website. Now, what's cool about Elementor is that uh, it does have, start off as a free page builder plugin you can just use with your current theme. But it is that freemium model where you only get the basic features and if you want to get some of the cooler features that allow you to do more, you do sign up for Elementor Pro, but it's still good value for money if you check that out. Now one of the cool things about signing up for Elementor Pro is that um, you also get the theme builder, which means you can use the Elementor uh, software to customize the actual look of your theme, not just individual pages. So that allows you to take full control of the look of your entire website in a much more efficient way just by upgrading to Pro and playing with that theme builder a bit. And you also get things like the WooCommerce Builder, which allows you to customize some of your WooCommerce pages. Um, something else that Divi also has as well, I will add, because uh, I do believe that uh, it's between these two. Divi and Elementor, in my opinion, would be the two best customizers out there. Um, there's also a pop-up builder, you get an add-on library, there's so many extras and uh, if you really want to make sure you're using a theme that works well with it, check out their Hello theme that is also free, but um, it's mainly the features you're going to pay for. The more features you want to get basically use, the more you're going to be paying because the freemium model comes with the basics, but the basics are still pretty powerful, so that way you can have a bit of a practice with Elementor before you uh, decide to go through a pro if you decide to. So once again, check, uh, check out Elementor. Link is in the description below. And um, yeah, this one is definitely one worth checking out. Now, the next one is the Breezy Builder, which is uh, basically a builder you can use on WordPress. It's very similar to a lot of the top ones out there. So it's a, probably going to be a good competitor for some of the big ones like Divi and Elementor, where you've got this really awesome visual builder, a ton of layouts, and uh, also a heap of customization options, things like filters and uh, different styling options that allow you to create really awesome um, layouts for your website. And as you can see here, you also have the ability to very easily and visually customize the site so you can see exactly what you're getting. And uh, it's quite cool and uh, has a lot of great options. Now, once again, you can start for free with Breezy Builder like a lot of others, but again, it's freemium. So you pay extra for the additional features. So Pro gets you extra features. Uh, some of the best features you'll find on Pro is once again, similar to Elementor, if you want to customize the entire look of your theme, they do have the header and footer customizers for Breezy as part of the Pro plan. So this is another good competitor, has a lot of the uh, a lot of the really cool features. They're all a little bit different, but um, this is a this one is an excellent builder, worth checking out if you're looking to customize your site. And uh, yeah, definitely one of the better ones on this list. Uh, probably just not far behind Elementor or Divi in my opinion, but uh, definitely one worth checking out if you're not interested in those other two. Okay, so the next one we're looking at is the Beaver Builder. Now, this is another visual builder which you, you use on the front end of your website. Uh, this one is actually does a really good job of creating uh, nice clean code for your layout, so you're not trying to rely on short codes or other uh, funny forms of coding to get the layout. Uh, Beaver Builder is actually really good for creating proper HTML uh, layouts for your website. But the only thing is with the Beaver Builder, while it is great, is uh, the fact that uh, it's very expensive. You pay $99 just to get in with the basics Beaver, Beaver Builder page plugin, which I can understand, business is business. But before you can even get the, the Builder theme, so if you don't have a theme that's, that it works well with, you've got to get the Beaver Builder theme, which I usually recommend trying to find a theme that's built to work with these builders. You then have to step up to the next tier, which is $199. So uh, it does, it's one of the more expensive uh, sort of builders in this list but it does do a great job of building awesome websites has a ton of features and does a very good job of uh, 
basically putting the information on the page in a nice clean way. So Beaver Build is another one worth checking out. Uh, like I said, one of the more expensive ones, but if you do want to have a look, there is a link in the description below as usual. And let's move on to the next one. Now, our next theme is the presence theme. Now, this is another theme that you, which actually they've changed a lot since it first came out. It's actually presence 2.0 at the moment, but uh, it's another theme that has a lot of cool customization options. Um, it allows you to, for starters, it comes with a whole bunch of site demos and layouts you can use, much like a lot of the other websites here, but uh, also has a good page builder, um, allows you to customize the look of your blog. Um, I'm just scrolling a bit quickly here, but you've got uh, some sliders, a few of the usual modules, different blog layouts and things that you can choose from. But what's really cool about this is it actually is uh, the perfect theme for using some of the builders out there. For example, this integrates with the Beaver Builder. So if you uh, wanted to use the Beaver Builder, um, this theme actually uses the Beaver Builder as its page builder, but also integrates very well with Elementor. So uh, the presence theme is actually a great theme, which uh, if you don't want to use Beaver Builder strictly, it is a sort, of, sort of like a, a half an option on this list as the theme does have a lot of customizations, but it uses a uh, builder technology from other plugins to basically get the look that you're after. And finally, we're going to look at the page lines platform builder. So page lines is actually one of the first customizable themes I work with, although it was vastly different from this one, um, cause it was actually a theme. This is actually a plugin. So, uh, it just sort of integrates with your theme and the way that plat that the page lines, uh, works is it tries to act a bit more like instead of having a bunch of plugins on your site it tries to act as a bit of a portal that allows you to integrate a lot of your plugins into their framework in order to simplify sort of like the load in wordpress but uh, it ends up getting it can get pretty expensive because it's one of those things where you go to a marketplace buy extra features and that sort of thing to integrate or you can simply go pro if i head to the pricing here for a minute which allows you to then integrate all of the uh, pro features so for one site it is 99 dollars. so a lot of these uh licenses on this site uh, on this list anyway um you, you're paying money to use it on either a number of sites or even unlimited sites for example divi when you buy that you can use that on as many sites as you want one license 89 dollars, and uh, that's it whereas with page lines you've got to pay, pay 99 dollars for one site or 199 for three you're going to be paying $500 a year if you're an agency or a web designer. But even though it is expensive, it is definitely a very powerful theme. It's one of those ones, even when it was in its infancy, I should say plug-in too, not theme, but in its infancy when it was first being, when it was first just the page lines uh, theme, it was very powerful back then and it's only gotten better. So it's another one worth checking out. It is does operate a little bit differently the way that you sort of uh, connect up and get plugins, uh, you know, plugged into the, the actual page lines plugin, <laughs> said the word plugin too many times there. So it is a little bit different, but it does have a visual build as you can see here. It does allow you to build pages. Probably not my favorite on this list, but I think it definitely makes a list due to its unique nature and the fact that it is quite powerful. And, um, that's pretty much the last theme on this list I'd like to, uh, that I'll discuss. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, so those are my uh, those are the top 12 choices for customizable themes and page builders for WordPress. Once again, I hope you enjoyed the video, found it useful. Now, like I said before, uh, we've got different, depending on, on what you're looking for will depend on what theme you choose. I do think, in my opinion, Divi theme does seem to be the best out there. That's why I've, I've been using it for years and I still can't really fault it, but maybe I'm a little biased. Uh, other than that, I would say that and Elementor are definitely the, the best out there um, if you're looking to get your hands in and get some code done. Thesis is definitely uh, the next one I would look at. Otherwise, um, yeah, if you want something simple, you've got the others there, such as the iThemes Builder, if you want something more basic, and uh, the list goes on from there. So I do hope you found that useful. If you did like that video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and also, if you want more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel, and that would um, definitely help support us and help us grow and help bring you more information like this and can help you with your website and spreading your brand online. All right, so thank you for watching the video and I'll see you next time.